Okay, so this is going to be your dynamic block. Uh, the first one, we're going to make two, but this is the first one, and it's going to be using visibility states. So start with a fresh new file. This one is in metric units. And uh, what you're going to do is draw the stuff that you want um, three different blocks to be combined all into one. So, for example, here's what I'm going to use. Um, a straight arrow, a turn arrow, and a handicap sign. These are going to be parking lot pavement markings, I'm going to call it. Draw everything on layer 0 and make it uh, white. Uh, that way, when you use your block, whatever layer you place it on, it'll take the color that you've got the layer set for. So everything's white. A little bit difficult because once you've got all three things drawn, you need to put them all on top of each other. So I'll just put that one there. And this one right there. So you've got quite a mess. Next step is make all of that stuff a block. So I'm going to insert, create block. I'm going to call it pavement markings. Base point, and I'll just make it the um, middle of the circle. Select all the objects, and I had it set to convert to a block right there. And we won't make this annotative for now because we'll talk about that in the next um, unit. And I'll make those in millimeters for the block unit. Okay, you say OK. So everything is a block. Um, now you want to edit the block and control what you're going to see for each visibility. So I'm going to double click on it. It says edit block definition, pavement markings, say OK. And you'll be put into this gray back screen and that's the um, block editor. You want to see the authoring palettes here. If you don't have them, go to this Manage tool, Authoring Palettes. Visibility um, dynamic block is one of the easiest. All you need to do is give it a visibility parameter. So you click there, and you're going to place it. Just place it you know, to the side of your block. And there it is. Next thing you're going to do is go up to Visibility States. There's only one right now, and I'm going to rename that one to um, Wheelchair. I'm going to create two more. This one's going to be uh, Up Arrow. And one more is going to be Right Arrow. Okay. Like that. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the wheelchair symbol first. Make that guy active. And now you want to select everything that you don't want on, um, that you don't want to show on this block. So, basically, both of the arrows I don't want. So it takes just a couple of seconds. Select everything. If you don't get it all, you can fix it, don't worry. Okay, so all of that, then you go here and you say, make invisible. Well, I missed one line, so that guy, make invisible. That's what I want for the wheelchair. Go to the next one, up arrow. So I want to select everything I don't want for the up arrow. Say invisible. That's for the up arrow, and then now go to the last one, the right arrow. And you can make this any block you want. You can make a block has all the trees for your project in it. Um, anything you want. Put them all under one. So this is the right arrow. All right. A couple more clicks. Everything you don't want to see, say invisible, there. 
Okay, so that, uh, you've just set it all up for your three visibility states. Um, you can save the block here and close the block editor. And when you click on your block, you should get this little down triangle. That means you've got visibility states on this block. And you can go to the up arrow and the right arrow. And that's it for a visibility state um, dynamic block.